Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you some tips and tricks on how to get the longest vase life from cut dahlia flowers. And dahlias are absolutely gorgeous and they make great cut flowers, but unfortunately they're not very long lasting in the vase. We can expect some of the larger dahlia varieties, ones like Cafe Au Lait, Breakout, Labyrinth, to give us a vase life of about three to maybe five days. Whereas the ball dahlia like Cornell, Cornell Bronze, Ivanetti, Blizzard will generally give us a vase life of about five to seven days. But luckily for us, there are some things we can do during harvest and also a wonderful tip about a hot water treatment we can use after harvest that will really extend the life of our dahlia flowers. I've tried so many different conditioning methods because I love dahlias and I wanna get every single minute I can with them inside my home in the vase. And the tip I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video is the one that I've landed on that is really the best and really gives me that extended vase life of what I feel like is an additional two days in the vase. So when it comes to cut flowers, it's always best to cut in the early morning or late evening. It's about seven now, and so it's a great time to harvest and condition my dahlia flowers. I went ahead and picked a few for us so that you can just see the stages that they go through. Unlike a lot of cut flowers, most dahlia varieties, and there are a few exceptions to this rule, but generally speaking, most dahlia varieties do not continue to open after harvest. So however you pick them outside is how they're going to look in the vase. So here's one that's just starting to crack open, and maybe you like this. Maybe you're working on a compote design and you want some varying texture, but just know that won't continue to open in the vase for you. Now here's one that I feel like is at the perfect stage for harvest. <laughs> Sorry, I have to wave dahlias in front of my face because the mosquitoes are so thick this time of year. But here's a perfect one at the right stage of harvest. It's about three fourths of the way open, but it's not so open that it's showing me its pollen center. Also, the back petals are nice and stiff. They haven't started to turn brown. So this one is ready to go inside and be put into hot water. This one, on the other hand, looks good at first glance, but when I look at the back petals, you can see that they don't really look very good anymore. They almost look like tissue paper. So this one won't give me a good base life after all. And what happens after that is that a dahlia will often show its pollen center. And at this point, it's really on its last leg out in the garden, and it's just best to deadhead these types of blooms. Now, when you make the cut itself and where you make the cut is also really, really important. So let me move the camera back. And I really wanna make a very, very deep cut into the plant itself. I'm gonna cut all the way down to give myself, I would even say a 28 inch stem length. In doing so, I will have some side buds that I will need to sacrifice, but that's perfectly okay totally normal. I want to remove any foliage that falls below the water line. But when I make these really, really deep and long cuts into the plant, a lot of really, really great things happen. First, I have a really, really wonderful long stem to work with. Also, it tells my plant and it encourages my plant to continue to send up these really long, strong stems for me in the days and weeks ahead. And lastly, we're going to be conditioning these in hot water in a bucket where steam is going to be coming out of the bucket. And if I had a very, very short stem, it would be kind of really low in my bucket and that steam would injure the bloom itself. So a long stem is crucial for a lot of reasons. So now we have all our gorgeous dahlias harvested and we're ready to move on to my favorite step. This is a step that is really gonna make a huge difference in the vase life of your dahlias. I would love for you to give it a try and tell me how it goes. So what I like to do is take a bucket. I use these large black buckets. I get these for free from Aldi's. You can also buy them from Johnny's or use a large metal bucket. And what you wanna do is first put some flower food in your bucket, so you have that there. And then you want to get some warm water that is in the temperature range between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Some of my girlfriends that have really wonderful, beautiful, big farms, they have big hot water tanks and they can set them to that temperature. Since I don't have that, I just use my stove to heat up water. That temperature happens before the water boils. So I just use a thermometer and as soon as it hits somewhere in that range, I take the water off the stove, pour the water into my bucket, which already has flour food in my bucket. And basically at that point, I have my two to three inches of warm water, 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit with flour food in the bucket. And then I place all my dahlias into that bucket. I try to position them kind of around the perimeter of the bucket so that the steam can escape through the center. If you overfill the bucket, if it's super full of blooms and you do this, sometimes the steam can wreck the central flowers I found. But you just let it sit in this warm water for a minimum of one hour. What I really like to do is to harvest at night do the hot water treatment at night and then I just let them sit in that hot water and return to room temperature and in the morning when I wake up about 6 a.m. to arrange they're perfect and ready to go but if that time frame didn't work out for you for one reason or another just make sure to do a minimum of one hour in the hot water and what will happen during that time in the hot water is that the part of the stem that was in the hot water, if it was a green stem, it will turn brown. So you can see this whole portion here was in my hot water. If your dahlia has a dark colored stem, the stem will turn a lighter color, but that's how you know that they're conditioned, they're ready to go. And now moving forward, you're really ready to either sell these dahlias to a consumer, or use them inside your home. You don't have to worry about keeping this brown portion on your dahlia. If you don't wanna look at that, you can go ahead and cut it off, no worries, you can cut it shorter. You only need to do the hot water conditioning method just that initial time after harvest. And basically, I guess you could say in a nutshell, what it's doing is it's just allowing the free flow of water up the stem. A lot of times when we cut a flower and it immediately kind of um, fails on us in the vase, it's because the flower for one reason or another, maybe it's got clogged, something you know in the water, bacteria in the water, but basically it's not able to drink properly for one reason or another. And that's why it's failing so quickly in the vase for us. So this hot water conditioning method ensures that our dahlia can drink the water all the way up to these magnificent bloom heads. And you know, I just think this conditioning method is so great. I've tried a couple different ways over the years. A lot of people like to sear the ends, boil the ends. I've tried all that, but my girlfriend that owns a really, really big flower farm here in Paradise, Pennsylvania, told me about this method. She processes thousands of dahlias a day. And thank you so much, Sylvia, because this was really a game changer for me. Conditioning dahlias in this way, it makes me feel more confident to sell them as well, because it's hard to sell flowers at a stand where you're not out there to explain that dahlias have a short vase life, but by choosing varieties that do have a long vase life to begin with, and then doing this hot water conditioning method, of course, harvesting at the right time of day, right stage of harvest, it just ensures me and my customer that they're getting the most bang for their buck and they're gonna be enjoying the longest vase life from their dahlia flowers. Well, friends, I sure hope this video was helpful. There are so many beautiful dahlias to choose from over on the Longfield website. Great prices, great selection. So I'll make sure and link our website down below. I wanna wish you a great day and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.